Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted in a while, but with um, quarantine, um, being stuck in quarantine, being bored, and I thought, um, why don't I do a mathematical model to um, estimate when all the coronavirus cases in Australia will be gone roughly. And so I'm just gonna show you, if you ever thought, why am I doing maths in school? Is this useful? Well, I'm gonna show you how you, uh, we're going to use maths now to estimate uh, when the corona cases will be zero. Now, I'm just not going to be um, being around. I'm going to use actual figures and let me just show you the site. So, this is from the World Meters Info site. Now, the media has not been really using the right statistics. They're, they're talking about the number of new cases per day, but they're not talking about active cases, that's the most important number. So if you look at here, this graph here represents the number of active cases in Australia. So you can see it started off as an exponential model, but lately, in the last few days, it is dropping down fast. So if, can, if we look here, all right, so that means we can use a graph to estimate that. Now, I've already done all the calculations to save time because if I just show you all the calculations, it'll look like it'll take forever. But basically, we'll use this as the time axis and this is the number of cases. It basically does this and we want to find when will that, that magic number let me just actually, oops, that's just, okay, let's not rub that out. We want to find this magic number here, T, where um, the number of cases will be zero. So I start off by using an exponential model approach as the um, normal distribution curve, the bell curve, but that model was not working. It was, so, I use a different model. So now if we use some, I wouldn't say basic maps, but if we, we, we will look for a model that has a bell curve type pattern. We want to, we want a curve that has this kind of model and a really basic curve, I'm going basic here, that has this pattern is something like A over X squared plus one. So this curve here is actually a fairly good approximation to model um, our number of cases or active cases, right? This is the number of active cases. We're currently around here. This is at the current position. So we want to work out how long it takes to get here. So I don't want to I'll try to be a bit faster, but now, so this curve obviously will have to be shifted to match this one. So our model to represent this would be, if we do a shifted variation, would be A over B T minus, actually, I'm just gonna, don't worry, um, we're gonna call this D squared plus one plus C. Now D is easy to find, that's the easiest number to find. D is this center point, the peak, All right? So D is the peak. So that's gonna be easy to find from the data. So what I'm gonna to do to estimate A, B and C is to use three actual data points. So this is just a rough estimation just to show you um, so this is T equals zero. Um, so I'm gonna use the starting initial point, the peak, and then the latest point where we're currently at. I'm gonna use these three points to estimate A, B, and C. Now, to do that, let's go back to the graph on the world meter side. So for starting point, I'm not gonna use February 15th. I'm gonna, if you look here for the first few days, 
it was five, 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 then six. So my t equals zero is going to be February 19th. Now we've got all the way up here, the peak is at April 4th with 4,935 active cases. And then currently April 6th, we have 3,418. So let's plot, get those points. So I don't even need to use this graph anymore. Let's go over here. So my three points are t equals zero, the y value was five, and that was February 19th. Now the next date was April 4th. That was when it was 4,935. So the number of days between February 19th and April 4th is 45. Then my next point was y equals 3,418, which was April 6th. And that's just t equals 47. So straight away, this is my d value, because right, that's the peak. Right, this is at 45. So if we go in, we have a over b t minus 45 squared plus 1 plus c. Now the reason um, we need three data points is because I've got three unknowns. So I'll leave this as an exercise in simultaneous equations. But basically, we sub in y zero to get five. We sub in 45 to get 4,935. And then we sub in 47 to get 3,418. And if we sub that in, we get A as 4,951.9971. I could have just used 4,952. Uh, we get B as 0.1104. And we get C as negative 17. Now, the reason I'm not showing you all those calculations is because I'm pretty sure you're watching to find out the magic date where maths will tell us the number of active cases will be zero. So if we plug that in, our equation now becomes 4,951.9971 over 0 0.1104 t minus 45 squared plus 1 minus 17. So that is the model for the number of active cases in Australia. So now we want to find the magic T value when the number of active cases is zero. So we plug zero in and solve. Again, a nice um, exercise for you to try, but I don't want to waste time. And I just want you to get, let's get to the answer. That means we get T is roughly 97. That's the magic number. 97 days from t equals zero. So 97 days, drum roll, from February 19th is a drum roll, May 16th. And there we go. May 16th is the magic day where the number of cases, active cases in Australia should, would be close to roughly zero. And that's actually only 42 days from April 6th. That's 42 days from April 6th. Now, what's today's day? It's currently in Australia, just, oh, I'm filming this late. Um, on April 7th. So it's actually 41 days from today. So in 41 days, now we're assuming the current restrictions stay in place or tighten restrictions stay in, uh, there's a shocking why, restrictions stay in place. So the current restrictions the government has imposed to help keep us all safe um, 
needs to stay, obviously. All right, so I've, and um, if all those restrictions stay in place, all active cases should be close to zero in about 41 days, so May 16th. So if you're watching, you've heard it from me, around May 16th, number of active cases will be close to zero if all restrictions stay in place. And I feel like this was a fun video to make because we're stuck in quarantine and I need something fun to do. And I don't think the media highlights number of active cases because if you go back to that graph for one last time, Me doesn't highlight active cases. It talks about how many cases there are in Australia, 5,900. But a lot of those have now recovered. As you can see here, we've peaked. And we will continue to go down fast. You can see here we're peaking. No, the cases are going to go down fast. It actually might even be um, sooner than May 16th. I will have to wait for a couple of days because you can see how steep the gradient is here. And then the gradient, so the gradient's coming down really fast. So I actually predict it will be sooner than May 16th. But um, that was just a fun little video to um, show you how maths is actually useful, right? I'm using some basic year 11, year 12 level maths to predict when the number of active cases in Australia for the um, COVID-19 will be zero. And, um, Actually, leave a comment and come back and check this video around May 16th and give me a comment on, oh my God, you're um, a psychic or maths is shit because you, you're way off. But other than that, I hope you guys stay safe. Make sure to stay home and only go out if you, for the essentials and try to have some fun while you're at home. All right, see you guys.